Hello everyone, this is SuperTal3 here. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please subscribe and like the video if you enjoy the content that I produce. In today's video, we're going to be deviating from the software side of things. I'm going to be showing you today how to remove the internal SSD from this computer. So that way you can upgrade your storage from say a 256 gigabyte hard drive to a one terabyte hard drive. And it's really simple. I'm just going to show you how to do it today so that you avoid some of the mistakes that you could possibly make when doing this. All right, so first thing to do, flip over your laptop and you'll notice there are two little bitty screws right here. You're gonna need one of these really small star-shaped bits. Simply insert it in and remove this small screw. Like so. Now make sure you keep these screws organized. They're very small and tiny, so super easy to mess up if you like lose them or anything. Now, the next thing you think you might be like, okay, yeah, and just pry it off. No, I tried that the first time. It's not what you're supposed to do. Unfortunately, with this laptop, they made it so that you have to pull these rubber feet off. They are sticky rubber feet. Um, HP sells replacement feet for about $30, so I recommend factoring that into your cost um, when, you're planning, when you're planning to upgrade your hard drive, etc. Now, once you get these off, go ahead and remove this second one. You'll see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different screws. These two are actually all of these bigger screws are Phillips head. You may have to break through the glue right here to get to these. But anyway, they're not that hard. So we'll go ahead and switch the bits. All right, so now we can go ahead and just remove these screws. All right, there we go. So now we have all these screws done and we are good to pry off this. All right, there we go. So as you can see right here, we got the big battery, which is rather large actually. We got a fan. Um, this looks to be the heat sink for the AMD Ryzen 7 3700U processor. That's the mobile one. Um, and then right here is our solid state drive. So we'll take this out and know in your normal stock one, this is not a 970 NVMe Evo Plus by Samsung. It is a different one, but I need this for another video that I'll be making very, very soon. Okay. All right, so once you have your new flash drive, this is Western Digital. The stock one that comes in here, um, I got mine as 512. Um, Western Digital is a very good brand of hard drives. I just prefer the Samsung um, Evo series, especially the Evo Plus, because they are slightly faster than what's stock included in here. You just take this, put it down like this, take your little screw, and being very careful not to damage anything. I'm gonna screw this in and don't over tighten it too much. That could be a bad thing. So just tighten it till it's pretty snug. You can lay back down the heat sink, which kind of adheres to it and keeps it flush. Now, if you are going to upgrade the wireless card, for example, say you are upgrading to the 802.11 AX card, you bought one, it's just your standard little M.2 right here. You just plug that in, plug these two little antennas in and you're good. But today we're just upgrading the hard drive. So since you're done with that, you can just take this and stick it back down on the laptop. Go ahead and just kind of press down on it. 
so you hear it like snapping around the edges somewhat there we go so everything snapped back in pretty much now all you gotta do is replace all of these screws and you will be good to go all right there we go everyone you have almost completed this um the next thing you want to do if you aren't buying new strips like this is to put these back on quick note when you pull them off likely they got stretched and so they're probably like this long don't worry the best thing to do in this case if they are stretched is take it and put it at one end make this flush and just lay this back down now in my case didn't really get stretched now you have two options here you can either get a blow dryer and kind of blow dry it to warm things up or you can just turn the laptop on let it run when things get warmed up these will shrink back see where I cut it off because I didn't know it was going to shrink back before my mistake um, so don't make that mistake if you're reusing it this one I didn't do that too really so everything is good it but like I said you may have to get some new ones I'm gonna have to get some new ones because after the second time of removing these they don't really stay stuck very well all right everyone so in this video i showed you how to successfully replace the solid state drive in the hp 13 ar000 in computer i hope this video was helpful to you if it was and you liked the video please leave a like if you have any further questions about repairing this laptop please hit me up in the comment section below i'll be happy to answer it also if there's any type of videos that you guys want me to make in the near future Leave comment in the comment section below and I'll be sure to do so. Thank you for watching. This is SuperTal3 signing out.